Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to this All Blacks career mode. We are currently still sitting in first for the Quad Nations tournament. Only three points ahead of the team we play now, South Africa. And this is actually the last game of the Quad Nations 2023 competition because of the fact that we have got a World Cup coming up. It is going to be shortened. So if you do enjoy this video though, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So this will decide the Quad Nations. We have got two more matches against the Wallabies coming up after this but they do not matter at the moment what matters is that we get this win against the Springboks let's get right into this match the All Blacks look to continue their dominance in rugby under new management and with the talent available it's hard not to see it happening this match could easily tip in either direction it'll just need the right spark and joining me right so I haven't actually seen the comments on the last video as this recording is straight after the other but one change that I have made is Pari Pari Parkinson in that number four jersey we have got a pretty decent lineup I would say but we have to for this match against South Africa because if they win they win the quad nations and that is not what we want but they have got a strong team so we had to match them and hopefully this team that I have chosen will be able to get us over the line. We have got a few interesting subs as well. I didn't mention it last time, but we have got Lachlan Boshier on the bench. And as well as that, we have got David Harvelli and Will Jordan, who will hopefully come on later in this match and make a big difference if we do need them. So many of these players are here from different backgrounds coming together as one to perform the haka. see it means a lot to New Zealand as part of their culture. Springbok stood up and met the challenge but that's only the beginning. Right the hype around this match is real because of the fact that whoever wins it will win the Quad Nations. Adi Savia takes that one well and he is in the number six jersey for this match. And this is a huge match party party. Parkinson is close lined off the bat. He is sleeping but he has woken up party party Parkinson. Welcome to the All Blacks I guess he is on his debut today. And he got absolutely smashed by their number five. I think this is way outside of my range. So we are going to be kicking for touch here. Damian McKenzie is the play kicker for this match. And hopefully he will be able to find touch because they aren't marking it very well. I possibly could have looked at bouncing that one into touch. But instead went for the safe option. Just to be sure. And we have actually got Cody Taylor back in the number two jersey for this match. It isn't Sevi Reese this time. He is on the wing. And Cody Taylor unfortunately looking at that. Is going to have a not straight throw. No, it is fine. Parkinson takes it well. Richie Moanga now running. Goes to Leonard Brown. One more out to Lau Mape. Goes wider to Damian McKenzie with a soft pass. George Bridge now has a little bit of pace. And he is hit hard by Willemser. We need to fire this wide. They don't have a fullback now. Leonard Brown out to Richie Moanga. Goes to Sevi Reese. He's got plenty of pace, Sevi Reese. And I'm not sure what their number 11 was doing. I believe it was Mapimpi if I'm not wrong. But because of it now... We do score the first try, Sevi Reese back on the wing and did manage to score for the All Blacks. And in this very important match, we will take every try we can get. Aaron Smith passes it to, I believe it was Leonard Brown, then it went to Richie Moinger. And Sevi Reese just too much base. And he scores the try, I almost cut too much. And that would have been a bit of a fail if I had come back into the field of play. Of course he would have dropped the ball if that happened. And that is not what we would have wanted in this situation. We are away from home as well. Which is a good point to make. In the last three away from home, we have won one, lost two, I believe. So South Africa won't be very happy with the start of this match, that's for sure. But we are winning it now. 7-0 to the All Blacks against the Springboks in this very important match. I keep saying it, but it is true. Whoever wins this match will win the Quad Nations. And it is a shortened version because of the World Cup coming up. Oh, that's a good take from Artie Savio once again. But that looks like it could be South Africa's ball. No, they haven't quite got that one. We are going to go to the left here. Whitelock now tries to lower them all in. George Bridge on the bounce. And he has been forced into touch. Not the best option, maybe, on my part there. But hopefully we will be able to win this line out against the throw. 
Oh, they have compressed well. Unfortunately, I was a little bit slow because of it. They have got that ball now. We have stopped that more. It is Faf de Klerk now fires it back to their number two. I'm not sure if it's still marks. We are in 2023, so it is hard to tell at times. Faf de Klerk now around the side. Their number six is going, but good tackle from Lau Mape. Cody Taylor not quite able to get that ball. Faf de Klerk now started by Parkinson, finished by Aaron Smith, but not quite able to get the ball still. South Africa, they are very good at hanging on to the ball, and if they start offloading, we are in a bit of trouble. Oh, it was Artie Savia, though. Great little wall. No, that's not what we wanted to do, but it has somehow worked out. Kiriwani has gone to Richie Moanga. It was an awkward-looking play, and because of it now, South Africa still have this ball. Someone just got teleported, so they are not going to be stealing that one. Fifth to Clerk now. Goes to their number four, goes back. Cody Taylor, great low tackle, though. We are slowly forcing South Africa back here until that happened. That was, oh, this is not good news. But that is a great tackle from Sam Kane. Good attack from South Africa, though. We made a mistake, and they tried to make us pay, and luckily it didn't cost us this time. Is that one too straight now? Parkinson is not that highly rated. So because of it, they have stolen that ball. Fifth to Clerk sells the dummy. It's a little chip in behind. That's a little bit different. Haven't seen many of those in the past in Rugby Challenge 4. Now it is Aaron Smith, fires it back to Moanga. Goes out to Leonard Brown, but Seve Reese wasn't actually where we would have liked him to be. Whitelock steals that ball, though. Goes to Aaron Smith, goes to Akira Ioane. Richie Moanga now to Leonard Brown, who has dropped the ball once again. Tell you what, Leonard Brown is not having the best season at the moment. That's a great low tackle. But we haven't got that ball now. Faf de Klerk around the side is tackled well. We're going to have to keep making tackles or else they are going to be able to score, and they have. And I would put that all down, unfortunately, to that error from Leonard Brown. He can't be doing that. He almost cost us the last game as well, Leonard Brown. But now they have been able to score South Africa, and this match is a little bit closer. And unfortunately, you know, it's these handling errors in the wrong position in the field. Faf de Klerk around the side. You know they're going to keep on offloading until they find the gap, and unfortunately that missed tackle of George Bridge as well didn't help. And the number 12 able to score. Now will be Faf de Klerk being the goal kicker. I didn't realise that that was something he did, but I would assume he will be able to get this one over now. And this match is going to be a very close one. I can tell already, and that has gone straight over, and unfortunately, okay, I can't do it quite yet, but now, no, still can't do it. Right now, I'm going to have to make another sub. Unfortunately, we can't be dropping the ball in those situations, so Leonard Brown is going to be removed from the field. Right, I have made the sub. It will be happening once there is a stoppage in play. Leonard Brown will be removed from the field, and David Harvelli will take his place. Well done from Sam Kane there to rip that ball away. Richie Moanga now goes to George Bridge who steps well. George Bridge gets back to his feet, goes to Leonard Brown, and I feel bad now. I feel really bad because he has managed to score Leonard Brown, but now he is going to get kicked off the field. Can I cancel that sub? Is that a possibility? But well done from Leonard Brown. He hung on to that one. And because of it now, he has got the All Blacks back in the lead in this match, although not many people were giving him a fist bump there. So maybe a few hard feelings between the boys at the moment. George Bridge back to his feet, offloads to Leonard Brown who was running onto the ball nicely and he was able to score and he made it a little bit of an easier kick for Damian McKenzie as well, which was very nice of him. That is a strong wind at the moment. And I have managed to get that one, I'm pretty sure, yes, straight down the middle from Damian McKenzie, but look at the curve on that ball. It looks like it's not a good day for kicking if you are too far out, but because of it now... The fact that that was the stoppage is a little bit unfortunate, but David Arvelli is going to be coming onto the field instead of Leonard Brown, and Lau Mape is going to move to that number 13 position. You know, Leonard Brown, he looked disappointed. He would have thought, yes, I dropped the ball, but now I scored the try. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had already done the damage, and that was subbing him off. Aaron Smith takes that swirling ball in the wind well. We have kept that ball. It is Akira Ioane now. Who has gone round the side, gone back to Richie Moanga, Lau Mape now to Harvelli. Who has passed it to no one, unfortunately, and now South Africa have got the ball once again. Adi Savia trying to rip that one away. I was going to say they've got to go to the left there. They didn't quite get that one right, South Africa. I think that ball had to be fired out the back line. That's a good tackle, or it was going to be from Parkinson, until I decided to tackle him again. 
again is what I meant to say. That's a good run from their number seven. Oh, if only Damian McKenzie wanted to touch that ball, but unfortunately not. Delanga Fussy. Oh, George Bridge has stolen that one, and he had to. But are they going to take it straight back? South Africa, no, they aren't. And they don't actually have a fullback, so what was going to be kicking it out? Unfortunately now, I'm thinking about just keeping it in the field of play because Aaron Smith is a quick man. Is he quicker than their number 12, though? That's a question. It's a foot race. Who's got it? No, it's their number 12 who wins that one. Fifth Clerk now kicking back. George Bridge runs onto that one well, or he actually overran it, unfortunately. And he is tackled by Malcolm Marks. I think we've got to go for another kick here. Definitely with Faf de Klerk up in the line. Aaron Smith lines it up, and I think that's going to be a decent kick once again. If that finds touch, that isn't a terrible thing. And I think Mark Pimpy, he's under a huge amount of pressure. And that is a drop ball, is it? No. And Faf de Klerk kicks it into touch. If he had dropped that ball, they were going to be in a lot of trouble, South Africa. But managing to clear their lines well, and we are going into halftime 14-7 to the All Blacks. And we haven't won this match yet, that's for sure. We've had more possession, but they've had the territory. Six handling errors. Just a few too many, unfortunately, in this kind of match. Everything is to play for. And the question is, are we going to be able to defend our throne? As the Quad Nations champions, we will have to wait and see in the second half, that's for sure. Damian McKenzie kicking off once again. And just look at that wind. I can't get over how quick it is moving. We are used to quite still days for our games at home. In this case, it is a strong wind. Tell you what, that number seven's having quite a good game so far for South Africa, but Adi Savia has been having a decent game for us. Richie Moanga now to David Arvelli. Goes out to Lal Mape, who didn't want to offload, unfortunately. And now that I'm thinking about it, injuries here could play a big factor in the World Cup. Parkinson, are they just going to keep on clotheslining him? What has he done? I don't know why they don't like him, but Malcolm Marks clotheslines Parkinson. He's touched the ball twice, and both times he has been clotheslined. And I think the smartest option here is to take the three. As much as I'd love to have a go at the line, I think, for the sake of... Please tell me I've kicked that one. Yes, I have, luckily. And now because of it, it is 17-7. Yeah, 10 points ahead, I will take that because of the fact that South Africa are still looking likely to score, and it may be off one of our mistakes is the most worrying part. It's going to be the South African number 10 to kick this one off. Yes, kicked short, and it's still swirling. Well taken by Joe Moody, who's going. And he does a little sidestep as well, but it has been ripped away by Malcolm Marks. Straight away, the number 10 tackled by Richie Moanga. His opposite number, Parkinson, not quite able to get that ball. Fifth to Clerk round the side, tackled by Aaron Smith. Tuanga Fassi is playing three for this match. He will be slightly disappointed. He loves playing 15, I'd say, because he has scored three tries in that position. But he is back at the prop position for this one. I thought we needed to play quite a good team. And hopefully it will be able to pay off. We're up to 50 minutes in this match. There is still time for a few tries for either team, to be fair. Parkinson with a great tackle. And Akira Ioani, I thought, was going to get that one, but Parkinson was the one contesting. Their number six now passes it to their number five. Tackled by Whitelock. And not releasing is the penalty. Well done from Akira Ioani to win that one there. We are going to be kicking for touch. And that is a strong win. I think we could get some real meters on this if we try. We're going to make it bounce as well because of the fact, oh, have I tried to take on too much? Is that ball going to go out? That's a great kick from Damian McKenzie. And I'm going to make my subs now because I always forget. And there is... Quite a few fatigued players out on that field. Right, the subs are being made. Joe Moody off the field for Carl Tuanukiafi. We have also got Cody Taylor off the field for Asafa Amul. We are making a lot of subs. And Tui Pelotu on the field instead of Whitelock. As well as Lachlan Boshier coming on the field. For that one will be for Akira Ioani. TJ Perinara is coming on for halfback. Hopefully that one's not too straight. No, it is stolen once again. And we have also got the change of Will Jordan. He is going to be on the left wing instead of George Bridge. Safa Moore with a great tackle there. Sam Kane not quite able to rip that ball away. Boshier charging hard. They're almost able to intercept it, but not quite. That's a good offload, though. But they are getting driven closer and closer to their line now, South Africa. Are they just going to try and kick this, or are they going to try and run it out? It looks like running it out is the option they are going for. That is risky in this situation. Fafta Clerk would be better off. Oh, now they are firing it back, and it's being fired forward with the knock-on. Damian McKenzie does a step. Is he going to make it to the line? No, he's not, Damian McKenzie. We are a metre short. Oh, who do I go to? I feel like you got to back Savia, don't you? But it hasn't gone to Savia. It's gone to Sam Kane, and he has got the job done. The captain of the All Blacks for this match, Sam Kane. 
and because of it now the All Blacks I would say from here hopefully we will still be able to win it Damian McKenzie so close fends Faf de Klerk but is tackled by their number three and then Perinari was deciding to eat below to Savia. he tried to go to Savia, but he found Sam Kane instead who had a good drive and puts the ball down Damian McKenzie now to take this kick and he has got that one Damian McKenzie so the score now in this match 24-7 to the All Blacks and I will say I thought this game was going to end up closer with how that first half went but the All Blacks just starting to get a few things going their way in the second half and South Africa just not quite able to stop the momentum we are gaining Adi Savia has lined that one up again and he's having a drive Adi Savia but tackled by Faf de Klerk they haven't got a fullback, so I could kick this one, but I think I'm going to try and back our men on the right. Tui Pelotu now, out to Severis, who steps. But then he is tackled by their number eight. And is it going to be their ball? No, it's not. We have still got that one. South Africa are actually marking those wide balls quite well, but will Jordan up the middle having a go? But he has tackled very hard, and have we got that ball? No, we haven't. We have lost that one, unfortunately. Fafta Klerk now firing it out to Malcolm Marks. But Sam Kane rips that one straight back off loads, but it has found their number five. Low tackle from Parkinson, very well done from him. Fafta Clerk now around the side, tackled by Perinara, their number four to their number seven. And he has been tackled by Lachlan Boshier. Fafta Clerk thought there was a gap, but Perinara covers it very well. And they have still got this ball, South Africa. We're driving them back almost into their own half at this stage. And the number one around the side now. If he had fired it wide, in that direction that I was just about to mention it could have been a different story but not releasing against them once again not a good day for the South Africans in the breakdown unfortunately just a few too many penalties against them and Damian McKenzie is going to be trying to get a lot of meters on this kick oh okay that didn't quite go where I wanted it to but it is still a good kick nonetheless it has found touch and that is the main thing hopefully we can get this line out right Asafa Amu, a lot of pressure on the man, although, to be fair, we have already won this match, luckily. Parkinson gets that one. Perinara now goes out to Richie Moanga. One more to Haveli. Puts the little chip in behind to Savia, almost. I tried something a little bit different there, and I thought it was almost going to work, to be honest. Fafta Clerk now running to the ruck. Goes out to the number eight. Back on the inside to their number six. Is that Sam Kane's ball once again? Yes, it is. Lamape now has passed it over his head and it's found the South African player. Is that going to be Parkinson's ball? No, it's Richie Moanga who rips it away. Savia now fires it out to Seve Reese. We've got a lot of stuff happening here. On the inside to David Arvili. Steps goes to Asafa Amoa. I'm not sure what my sentence was in that situation, but South Africa have now got the ball. And he has dropped the ball, so we want to make some metres here. Sam Kane now offloading it to Richie Moanga. Goes to David Arvelli. One more to Will Jordan. And this will be advantaged over. Surely no, it's not. I thought for sure we have made enough metres there. Perinara now passes it back to Duanga Fasi. Duanuki Afi ball to Damian McKenzie who's trying to drive. And I think I would have liked to see advantage over there. But nonetheless it is going to be a win to the All Blacks because that is full time. It was a hard fought victory for us, but luckily we were able to get the job done. The score was 24-7. Sam Kane, Lennart Brown and Reese were our three try scorers. Damian McKenzie, good successful day on the boot. It was a hard day for kicking because of how strong the win was. And Fafta Clerk was actually their kicker for this match. He did well as well. Possession was in our favour territory, not penalties conceded, though four against them. We are very good at not giving away penalties, unfortunately not so much for the handling errors, nine of them. But that is probably not too bad on our standard. Right, so we didn't get to see the presentation, but we are the Quad Nation 2023 winners. And it is the All Blacks once again, the defending champs, hopefully going into this World Cup in a couple matches time. We will be able to defend our championship in that regard as well. But anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. We have still got two more matches against the Wallabies in the Bledisloe Cup series and then we are off to the World Cup. I am very excited for that one. I hope you guys are too. But anyway, that is going to be the end of this video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one.